In recent weeks, the story told by a content creator named Simon Lockhart and his channel is it Simon has gone viral on the social network TikTok. Simon is a boy who lives in Rhode Island, USA, he was famous for the paranormal investigations of the Warren spouses and many other ghost hunters and where the real cottage that inspired the film entitled The Conjuring resides. This guy, who has always dealt with very normal things on social media like his YouTube channel with gameplays and video game reviews, started posting special videos during his shifts as a security guard at a hotel. In these videos Simon tells that the hotel is haunted by a ghost and shows the paranormal activity of which he is the protagonist every time he is at work. Let's start by saying that we are Simon followers, we love his contents, as he was able to create them and we find them brilliant. What you are about to see is a simple content analysis from a concrete point of view. So, let's see the first video together. I do security at a hotel. I was making a video of where I go when I'm doing my rounds. A guy died here from an overdose a few months ago. This is the staff lounge. I don't think he ever Pretty left. Nice Bathrooms. Nah, 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 fuck that. In this video he tells that he works where a person died of an overdose a few months ago and according to him, this person's ghost is still in the hotel. Many people die in hotels all over the world, this does not mean that a hotel can be declared haunted. In the comments then they point out to Simon that the voice that says, hey, is clearly identical to his own, he defends himself by declaring that he thinks this entity is imitating him. A video that proves nothing, very easy even to make with a hidden accomplice who turns off the lights. I set the camera up to see what will happen while I was in the bathroom. This is what I captured. In the second video, Simon places the camera on the table to enter the bathroom. Immediately after he knocks on the same door that has closed because the sound is dark and does not propagate towards the camera room, afterwards you see a top rail of a chair that is moved near the phone, this trick is also easy to do with an accomplice behind the camera that moves the chair. Even in the video comments people point out these things and obviously it's hard to believe what you see. This happened when I was finishing up my rounds. Hello? Bro, oh, why are the lights off? Yep, nope, nope, I'm fucking out. Nope. In the third video Simon enters a room and frames only the left side, so that the maneuvers to drop the soap dispenser cannot be seen. Simon squares the dispenser while by now it has almost fallen to the ground. To make a similar video, it would be enough for Simon to place the dispenser in the balance and give a small shake to the piece of furniture to make it fall, because the camera is so facing the other side. To believe in a real paranormal activity, we need clear evidence. As we have seen in the first three videos, making this kind of tricks is very simple, it is about creating the illusion that there is a ghost when in reality it is enough to be careful and take small tricks in the filming to make everything quite believable. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm not going to the bathroom if you're wondering. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing like shuffling sounds outside the door. And I need to put the camera on. Bro. Bro, what the 
fuck was that? No. If you listen carefully, in this video it is possible to hear the footsteps of those who threw that bottle at the door, let's hear it again together. This video does not even need analysis, it is so simple to make or edit for the banality it presents. We are all able to put a voice in a video with the apps that are in the store or place a mobile phone at a distance with the play of this voice. I don't know if you can hear it. Oh, I swear to God, I hear fucking singing going on right now. What the fuck was that? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. What the fuck was that? Nah. What the fuck was that? Nah. This happened when I was live streaming last night. In part 6 Simon shows an object, apparently a cloth string, with a hanging whistle, swinging slightly. In the comments the followers point out that this thing could be caused by both the wind and a very fine fishing line imperceptible to the camera. Yeah, no, I'm not. This just happened on my live stream. Imagine that chair moves. Oh, fuck. No. No. The seventh part is made like the sixth, a simple thread of fine line, and the book flies off the table. First Simon makes believe that the chair has moved to create suspense, then shows the book flying. My viewers told me to set up the camera while I went to the bathroom. In the 8th Simon pretends to have gone to the bathroom according to an alleged request that came in a comment. Here he emits two whispers and then drops something. Another video that proves nothing. Also in the comments people point out to him that in the first videos he continually asked for more followers, this thing has been removed in these videos probably to make the matter more credible. Part 9 is fun because to make the falling object, Simon cuts the video badly, and at the end of the video to make the paranormal activity more credible, it distracts attention by immediately proposing another anomalous activity. I'm hearing shit in here. Yo, my heart's like going a thousand miles an hour when I get close to this room. Yo, fuck that. Fuck that. Yo. <laughs> Little Salvatore. <laughs> How you doing? Yo, fuck this shit. Nah, I, I forgot my flash. I'm, I'm not going back for my flashlight. Fuck this shit. Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, if you guys are wondering why I haven't been posting lately or, or going live is because my account is being monitored by my uh, supervisor and if I post anything like ghost stuff or go live, uh, he threatened that I would get suspended or fired. Victimization is usually used to increase the level of credibility. Appearing a victim in a situation puts the viewer on your side, like in the movies, and makes everything that is done more credible. In the next two videos, Simon says he was reprimanded by his supervisor for shooting ghost videos and making them public in negative publicity for the hotel. In the other video, however, he says that his TikTok account has been hacked. Hey, what's up you guys? Uh, so, someone tried to hack my account. 
These are only the first 10 videos of Simon, today his channel has reached the 18th part, it means that he is not frightened by ghosts, nor by the reproaches of his superiors. The first part of the investigation on the It's Simon channel ends here, we thank you for watching, and if you like the contents do not forget to subscribe and press the bell for updates, and remember, we live in a logical and mathematically ordered universe, don't believe everything, ask, analyze, and you will solve.